this one is transmission of light through the electric field that captures is basically of the light going through the mechanical. So, uh, I did this research last year, began last year, I continued doing it this year as I joined the university with Dr. Sri as my mentor. Um, the other light that I'm gonna talk about today. First one is motivation of the research of the introduction of the electric field ladder actors. Previous results that um, I got from last year. Conclusion of the summer's work and current work. So here's the motivation. Um, as we can see here, let's say if we have a part of that starting from this from this place, from this uh, uh, position, going through a lens right here, after the lens, we can get a profile of image right here. But um, when we have this profile of image going through from the opposite direction, we cannot get a point of light. Instead, we can get only just a smaller profile of image. That means um, from a point of light, we can get a profile of image, but from a profile of image, we cannot get a light. I mean, a point of light. So, um, the revolution, um, the revolution is about one six one lambda over N A and A stands for numerical aperture. In nineteen ninety nine. Um, the resolution is made to lambda over 5 with this technology. And in the same year, um, the resolution is made to lambda over 10, which means that um, it's more precise. And however, with this um, model here, the metal cube is very precise. That means um, it takes a lot of money and how work to do to make this um, better one here and it does not um, it cannot be produced easily and in 2005 the resolution um, compares to level over 4 again so what we have is a illumination at bottom then a substrate uh, usually is um, silicon gas or air then we have another layer is the metal the whole line here is the tiny hole that I, I mentioned before and the light is supposed to go through the hole and our research is to see how much light is actually going through it um, we use a 3D finite element method with perfectly matched layer boundary condition Perfectly match layer, which is known as um, PML, is actually a condition that um, it it's like um, when you have when you have someone to contract war, but the war doesn't exist actually, that um, all the forces and the lines can go through it without any repulsion and refraction. We use console more business. This is the, um, the software we used last year. Um, it's a final algorithm method software package. Um, it is for many other engineering and modern business programs, and we use it and it's like a simulation that to, um, to help us to research more easily. So last year we got um, something like this illumination going through a few silica and the hole is filled with um, silica, I guess. Um, right here, the diameter of the hole is about 50 nanometers. There's a peak. That means um, at this position, there's the most light going through the hole. And it corresponds to the phase shift right here is about um, is about um, theta over two pi, and another one, another peak here is 
a response to two pi. I mean, um, two theta over two pi. So, um, about the phase shift, when the direction of the electric field changes, uh, changes once, that means the phase shift is two pi. If the direction of the electric field changes twice, that means the phase shift is four pi. So last summer we did this research with the field thickness is 100 nanometers. The wavelength of the light is 488 nanometers. Um, before the research that we did last summer, um, there were actually other researchers did this um, with my mentor that they use um, different material to fill the hole and to, to make the layers right here. So um, here's some differences between the materials. Um, N is the index reflection. So when we use different materials, the index reflection of these materials will be different. And we want to see that um, if use, by using different materials, what difference we, we can get. Um, last year we did, and uh, we found out that um, when, the, when the diameter of the hole is about 40 nanometers, there's a peak right here, and the transmission is about um, 0.8 zero. It's actually a lot. And the image is just like that. And here's the whole um, set of data that we did. So the application, what's so important of this research is that um, if we can make a hole very tiny and still the light can go through it, that means um, we can have a precise um, something like microscope or something like that in medical usage. And um, the enhancement in... Okay. The intensity can be over a thousand times if, if this research is successful. Conclusion. Um, transmission western space will found an average diameter of uh, 40 nanometers. Like I said, um, with the same um, thing outside field, the aperture with not less transmission about 100%. That means um, nearly like almost almost 100% um, of the light can go through the hole. And think outside nano apertures may be useful for optics, uh, optical scanning for devices that use resolution of less than that over time. Currently, um, we are still working on the same profile, but with a newer version of so for one hole. That means we have to build a model um, and one simulation with different configurations. And um, besides the 3D plane, we use a 2D plane and we um, array some holes that will spread out evenly to see if we can have different configurations, um, how does the light can go through the holes differently. Um, this is the console 3.5 the previous version that I used um, last summer and this is the new one and the interface right here is quite different we have to build uh, we have to build these models um, I want to acknowledge my mentor on the street St. John's University and the staff on the set, how to society and all of you Thank you.